Hello and welcome to episode 141 and uh, for this video I've been joined by um, Blanca, um, Blanca, I mean Lee. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, uh, we're at Tobba Manor Fishery. Um, haven't been here for exactly a year now because the last time I was here was with Lee. We was over there on that side of the lake over there and we had a few didn't do particularly well but um Lee wanted to come back and have another bash and uh, sort of try and put a few more fish on the bank because when this place is prolific you can have quite a few fish out but on the other hand when it's slow it can be like it was last year where we only had sort of one two each I'll take each. that compared to this year <laughs> but yeah Lee's starting to get a fish on the bank because how long has it been now since you've banked a fish? Is it 10 months? Yeah. 10 long months guys without a fish, how about that? But anyway, if you don't catch a fish from here, you should... Oh, you don't take, say it. You you're taking up golf. Don't say, yeah. yeah, I probably will actually. <laughs> the missus will be happy anyway. Right then guys, anyway, stop the waffle because we're not actually fishing yet. All we've done so far is get the bivvies up just to make sure we've got a good swim. We are in a good swim. We're um right in the middle of Big Haze on the first line that you come to, for those of you that know the venue. A peg I have fished many times before and done well out of, so the lake is actually really busy. So when we come down to the lake, I'm actually quite surprised this peg was free, to be fair, but anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. Usual, usual, usual. Let's go fishing. Let's do it, come on. Oh, that's what Simon says. <laughs> <laughs> Recording. Happy with that? Closest to the reason what I thought, but I'll leave it for a bit. Oh, tight is right. Well here we are, been fishing less than what, half an hour, 40 minutes Chris? Yeah. He's had two snotty bream. No we have not. Yes you have. No I haven't. Yes you have. And I think he's into his first proper, well I'll say proper, first carp shall we say. Do you want me to give hand with the net, or so are you alright? I should be alright because I've got my new um, fox camera like net float on there. Oh, right! Fish in the net. Get in, mate. Well done. 
Right guys, I said the rods have only been out about half an hour and first carp is already on the bank. A typical plain Tobasimo, 12 pound 12, middle rod, 10 wraps out, fishing on Pacific tuna, glug dumbbells, tip of a little bright bait for a, a bit of high vis. We'll show you rigs and everything later on in the blog, but can't complain. Half hour fishing, first fish. Well done, mate. Let's hope there's many more. Please, <laughs> please. Right then, guys, we are finally with Lee. After a long drought, a 10 month drought of no fish, <laughs> he's on to his first fish this year. I actually missed this take because I was walking some lines out down the bank. One of my rods has a bit of line twist in it, so I was just walking the line out to walk the twist out of it. I was screaming him, but he couldn't hear me. He I come. Going deaf, I him. come back, and then this thing's on the bank. Oh, you don't want to have a, you don't want to be nice for the camera, and none of them do it, do they? Give her a bit of water. Come up now. There we go. There we go. First fish of the year. <laughs> she don't want to be on the film. Now the sun's a bit bright at the moment, isn't it? So yeah. here we go. There you go. 23, 12. She's still fighting. She put a hell of a scrap as well. Because me and Chris are fishing quite close. It was hard to land her on my own, so, but I did it in the end, you, got you, you forgot how to land a fish? <laughs> Nearly. There she is, 23.12, middle rod, on basically a snowman rig, slightly cut down. Yeah, we can show you a rig at some point in the blog. We've got three days yet to show all that malarkey. Well, let's go, this should be nice. There you go. Beautiful. Sorted. Ooh. Thank you very much. Well At done. Last. Your drought is over. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, bit hard to see her go off in this murky water, but... Ten months of hell is over. The <laughs> king is dead. Long live the king. Long live the gilly. <laughs> <laughs> right then, guys. As it has been 10 long months since Lee has <laughs> caught a fish. First one this year. To mark this special occasion of ending his blank, I would like to present you with a little gift. What the hell is it? You have to open it and see. Oh no. It's... <laughs> Where did you get that done? I don't know if people can see it. Can you see it on there? Might be able to see it if you put it in a dark background or the... But basically it says, congratulations Lee, first carp of 2017. <laughs> and a carp engraved on the glass as That's well. That's awesome. I love that. Cheers mate. Thank you. So, Even though it was meant as a piss take. <laughs> but thank you very much. But there you go. To, thank you. To, to mark this long occasion of blanking, <laughs> or the, the end of the blank. Well done, mate. It's been a long time coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's been hard work, guys. Trust me. All right, get that rod back out. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Teamwork. Catch anything off that rod. <laughs> you gonna say that? I wouldn't hold your breath, Oh, 
I've dropped a boilie, I hope you don't mind. One more on that day. Okay. When people see us start bagging up from the margins, they'll all be doing it. Is ready at Turkish. Two minutes. No, it's not because we ain't got sausages. <laughs> we will have in two minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the evening, guys. So, been a slow start to the fishing, but as we've become accustomed to now in the blogs, it's barbecue time. Sad life. Yeah, just had some nice uh, chicken, kofta's and pork belly slices next. Then after that, some steaks. Oh, yeah. and burgers. Got burgers oh. tonight as well. Oh. Yeah. Can you fit it in, Chris? Hmm? You better fit it in. I'm only skinny, but I'm sure I can. Give it a go. I'll try uh, as well, mate. I'll try. Anyway, guys. Cheers. Cheers guys. guys it has been an absolutely quiet night with nothing happening whatsoever so uh, just gonna retie some more PVA bags just getting some baits ready The fish I caught yesterday was using the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the Pacific Tuna Glug Dumbbells. And then after that, the the PVA bags I've been recasting out are um, ones I just got in my tray that are already pre-tied from sessions previous to this one. Uh, none of the baits in them. Um, bags that are already made up seem to be working so um I'll go back to the Pacific tuna okay, we are at Tobba so we are in CC Moor territory always previously done well on some sort of CCs CC more bait when I come to sort of here or Coking Farm or but yeah after I caught that first fish on the Pacific tuna I think it was a bit of a mistake of my own really to go back to sort of using PVA bags already that I tied up I just wanted to get them used up so I could then get the rigs retied with Pacific Tuna bagged up in them. I should have just gone stayed straight with a Pacific Tuna if I'm if I'm being honest to myself, because absolutely nothing has happened since then. Well, not for me anyway. I'll see. There was leaf fish yesterday as well. 
But yeah, I'm going to get three bags tied up. Like I say, with the, these glug dumbbells. <sighs> Normally I've always used live system when I've come to this venue. Uh, I thought I'd try the Pacific Tuna for a change. Not a bad bait to be fair. I've uh, even bought a bag of the uh, Pacific Tuna boilies to uh, throw in around me baited spots as uh, some freebies. I think you saw me yesterday catapulting a few in. Uh, uh, yeah, right, anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. Lee's gone up to the uh, showers at the moment to uh, have a bit of a freshen up. And then when I've done three bags, I'm going to get them out in the lake and hopefully getting back on the Pacific Tuna will start being a bit more productive. But one thing I'm going to do though, I've got some a big sack of pellets in the car and um, even though I say I'm baiting up with Pacific Tuna boilies as well, I'm going to use Lee's spod rod because he's already got it out and I'm going to spot out some pellets got some big 10 mils with me which I've actually got for later on in the week when after this session me and Lee are actually moving up to Paddock Lake for the next session so I've actually got the pellets for that to go for the catfish but uh, but I'm going to put some out with Lee's spod rod on, on this session because there's a guy opposite and he come round for a chat yesterday because he knows me from the blogging and uh, he's actually using a bait boat so he's actually putting a big bed of bait out you know every time the bait boat goes out and he's had quite a few so it seems like the fish sort of maybe want sort of a better bait rather than just sort of PVA bags as we're fishing now so, so that's about it really hopefully it can be a bit more successful No reeds to tangle over. Right and guys, day two, carp number two. Albeit a very small carp of the F1 variety. Only just recast all my rods and within a few minutes this little bugger took my right hand rod. Cleanly hooked in the bottom lip. But it's a fish, I suppose. I expect Lee probably has to zoom in to actually see it. Oh. <laughs> if I hold it out, does it look bigger? Yeah, hold it out more, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh well, fish is a fish. It is indeed.
Oh, missed fire. Oh, Lee's right hand rod has just absolutely torn off. You reckon it's an F1 like I've just had? No. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose it either, so I don't want to sound cocky. <laughs> Lee's sporting the new carpy looking bare feet. Yeah. Best thing to have. Just chilling out in my bivvy. Oh no. Oh no, what? Oh, I thought I lost it. You have lost it mentally. Do you want to end with the netting? Yeah, please mate. Alright, let's just set this camera down then. Right then guys, we are with Lee and another chunk again. Yep, it was the right hand rod, touring off, as you've seen, didn't even have time to put my flip flops on. <laughs> uh, 23 pound dead on, and an absolute mint common. There's a nice one. Absolute stunner. Beautiful fish. Whew. A couple of picks and get her back. Yeah. Right then guys. It's probably been about 20 minutes since Lee's put that common back. He's in again. The blank is definitely over. <laughs> Are you, are you letting it swim over my lines? Yeah. It's going right for the rings. Right. Oh, put up a bit of a fight. What's them funny noises you're making? Sounds like you're having a poo.
come in. Freaking scrap. Fan club. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go then guys. Like I said, 20 minutes after that fish went back. Here's the result on the left hand rod this time. Crystally balanced, uh, half a boily, half a pop up. Stone man basically. But yeah, third fish now, second of the day, 18 pound four. And if I uh, show you the other side, there's probably people that are going to hopefully watch this that fish here that recognise this cat because she's got a real distinguished sort of birthmark on her, isn't she, Chris? Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not damage. It's not an injury. It's just a big sort of brown-looking birthmark, isn't it? Yeah. Which is a bit slippy. That's how you like it, isn't it, Lou? Like them a bit slippy. Looking like a typical top of the demo. So I'm good to you, I'll let you have the right side of this swim. You was here, Every, you was here before me. That's what I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take the least productive side. Yeah, alright. Because I knew you'd needed this good session to uh, Get your confidence back. That's, well, that's true enough. I did. I did. <laughs> Here she is. Uh, yeah, a yeah. typical looking top of thimo, really. Yeah, fifteen pound nine middle rod. I'd say from the um, profile of its high shoulders, it's got the potential to be a big fish one day, though. Oh yeah. yeah. It's got that high shoulders kind of big fish look, hasn't it? Yeah. Ha! Did it splash you? They all did. <laughs> Just at the side. Not much difference, but... Yeah, good condition. Uh... Yeah. Right, let's get her back. Indeed. Here we go then gang, seems like it's uh, the good old days again with uh, Lee being in again. Yeah, makes a nice change. <laughs> Still as ambidextrous. You know me. He was just about to have, uh, put stuff, putting food on the barbecue, there we go. 
The evening barbecue Ooh. is lit. I think we're about 10 minutes off cooking time anyway, so... Uh, if this had come any later, I think it would have disturbed cooking time. They know where to go, don't they? Oh god, yeah. As long as he goes a bit further around, that's better. He's woke up anyway. Tell you what, they don't have fight in here. Big That's what he said to your missus, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Right, I'm going to put the camera down, guys, and see if I can help sort this mess out. Right, here we go, guys. Just going to be nice and quick with this one. Like I said, barbecue's on the go. Ever on the bank, they're just as low, <laughs> but uh, just under 10 pounds. This one, 914. But nice to get amongst the fish again, anyway. So, let's return this one back and have the barbecue makes them starving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nothing special, really. That one is it to really show off. No. Well, here we go again, gang. It's just like the good old days, isn't it? With Lee being in again. Good old days. <laughs> Seems such a long time ago. It was. You're old now. I know. <laughs> Not as old as you, though. You're only as old as the girl you feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That means I'm forty. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's what my girlfriend said. <laughs> I might need your help to net this in a minute, Chris, so don't go through my rods again. That's what you're saying. Be my gilly bitch. <laughs> right, we'll uh, come back to this thing, guys, when the fish is on the bank. Right in, gang. Here we go then. That fish is on the bank. I think this is fish number five today. Yeah. Right hand rod, just weighed her, 12 pound 12. Not the biggest, but certainly welcome. After 10 months of blanking and having Chris and Simon ripping me on WhatsApp. So, to get amongst a few fish again, it's nice. Right, let's get her back. Right, go ahead. 
Right then guys, there's a warm southwesterly blowing and it's certainly bringing in the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, another common, second one of the day. Sick fish of the day. Uh, left hand rod it was. Don't know why I'm looking over here because it's pitch black. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 17 pounds. And as I'm speaking, Chris just had a bleep on his left hand rod. So, yeah, it's been a, become a good day, hasn't it? So. Yeah, not too bad at Well, for you. Yeah. All I've had today is that F1. But, uh, right, let's get it back. Couple of pickies first. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Right then, gang. Me and Lee were just sat chilling out in front of our bivvies and, uh, right hand rod slowly ticked away for this little thing. She's a slimy one. Yeah. Was it right hand rod, was it? No, left hand rod. Oh. That oh, wind's picking up. <laughs> yeah. 15 pound bang on. This is fish number. I'm starting to lose count now. Seven, I think. <laughs> so it's been a real productive day for me. Uh, yeah, 15 pound. Let's get her back. Hopefully, get another one. Double the size though. Good morning, gang. So, good morning, Lee. Good morning. <laughs> so, after uh, Lee's busy day with a fish yesterday, last night was uneventful. Nice and quiet. Both got a good night's well. Say we got a good night's sleep. I couldn't get a good night's sleep with Lee snoring right next to me. <laughs> if only he could hear himself. <laughs> So, this morning I'm going to be winding in the rods and then uh, going up up to the shop to uh, use the on-site facilities, have a shower, have a posh poo and not a porter cabin poo. <laughs> so, that's it. And then when I get back, I think Lee's going to go and do the same. So... So it probably is going to be a break in the in the fishing for the next couple of hours or so while we're uh, sorted and refreshed and revitalised and all that kind of malarkey. Right, to later guys. Catch you later. Oh. Right then guys, first fish of today's adventure and a nice little 18 pound common. I'd only just recast the rods so this has probably gone within about 10-15 minutes of the cast and uh, middle rod went. Lee's not back yet, he's still up at the showers or gone to the shops but uh, yeah getting into him slowly Plugging away, it's all good. Right, let's get her back.
you want me to help you net it or you're alright? Should be alright. I'll see if I can let it go over your line first. Fishing the net. Well done. Right then, gang. Second fish of the day for me. Left arm rod. Oh. Left hand rod, took out my middle rod, so I've got two rods to sort out after this fish goes back. And this one is plain to see it's been feeding on that pellet I spotted out yesterday because um, there's, it a, it out. there's a few uh, pellet remains in the bottom of my waist sling at the moment. Uh, taking on a yellow nutcracker pop up again as per the first fish I had this morning. Still 10 wraps out and Lee's getting a few bleeps as well so right we'll just get this fish back because um, I think Lee might be in not sure he's getting a few bleeps but this fish is a bit lively so he won't keep her up longer than we have to right ticking along nicely though Here we go then gang, just caught a bit of that run and Lee looks like he's finally into his first carp of the day because he's already had a bream. No I ain't. Yes you have. No I ain't. Yes you have. No I ain't. Yes you have. <laughs> Why are you pulling that funny face, Lee? Oh, this one. I don't have nowhere to go, mate. I'm trying to keep it off my other rods. Hey! Oh, no! Caught a reed! Um. Happens. What happened, Lee? I don't know, mate. It came off, didn't it? Oh no, don't say you're back to your blanking spree. <laughs> don't mention the B word. Well, I've only just lost that one, and now Chris is into one. Literally seconds later. Oh my god, what an ugly and face. You can't zoom in on my face because I zoomed in on your yeah, face. Yeah, I can zoom on your face. <laughs> what an ugly, ugly man. Watch my rod, you. No. Firing out all them boilies or the throwing stick. It looks like the fish have got onto it pretty quickly. And like all oh, the fishing. 
lines, don't go under my lines. <laughs> don't go under my lines. And all the fish in here, they fight real well, don't they? Even when you get them on the mat, they still go mad. You're going to call that karma now, aren't you? Well, we were just saying, he said to me, I'm going to leave that loss in the blog, taking the mickey out of me. So if he doesn't leave it in the blog, he won't leave this in the blog, which will make it fair. Now I've mentioned it. Chris. Whip, whip, whip. How weird is that though? Both of us get fish, both of us lose them right at the net. Here we go again then gang. It's only been literally 10, 15 minutes at the top since since we lost them fish back to back. Yeah, I've only just put this bag out. It's the same rod that I lost the one on. And I put this out, what? Three, four minutes ago? Yeah, so it would appear we have a shoal of fish on us now then. That's like the third bite in 15 minutes now. It's my left rod, your right rod, so they're so right between us. Practically, yeah, the same water. Fish is fish. It is. Little fucker. And it just dumped your back lid. Whee! An action. <laughs> there you go then. Result of that take. Only a small common, nine pound eight. On left hand rod. The one I just lost one on, what, 15, 20 minutes ago. More than welcome, first fish of the day. So, let's get her back, see if we can get another one. Here we go then, gang. Picking them off slowly but surely. Once again, the fish know when it's uh, eating time because the barbecue is on the go. Well, it is behind that chair. Fish in the net. Lovely jubbly. Here we go then, gang. Here's the... Uh, fish we've just seen Lee briefly playing. Yep middle rod yet again just on a critically balanced bait. Uh, 16, what was it 16? 16? 8. 8 yeah. Yeah 16 8. Dumpy one obviously uh, a bit like the I was going to say a bit like Chris Fennell. <laughs> there you go. Hang on right. just hold it there Lee. I'm just going to zoom it's quite distinctive because it's got a split lower sort of Tail, so quite a distinctive looking fish. Okie dokie, let's get her back. Because yep. the barbie's on. It is indeed. <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. A quiet night. A misty morning. No action, but the lake looks pretty this morning, all covered in mist. The sun is slowly coming up. I 
and in a few hours it's time for us to move. Gang, we've come to the end of our uh, big hay session. We're virtually packed up, we're down to just our rods out now but everything else is in the cart. It's been not too bad a session, we've certainly done a lot better than um, we did last year on here for sure when we only had three fish between us oh, yeah, definitely. and now on this occasion we've had I think it's like 12 fish, nine, like 13, that. I don't know 13 fish that. between us now so yeah. it's not been a bad session so well done on finally breaking your 10 month blanking spree yeah. <laughs> at last well then gang that's it we're leaving it there just got to wind the rods in now and then we're off oh, in no, fact we've got to go home no, we haven't got to go home, have we? Well, where are we going? We're going up to Paddock Lake for the oh. next episode. Oh, yes. So, join us there. Till then, guys. Tight lines. Tight lines. Oi, let's all go to Paddock. Let's all go to Paddock. La, 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 la.